It is that time of year again. The beloved skating show Stars on Ice is back. And joining us this morning here on TMS, it says Canadian figure skating staples. I'm going to change that to icons. Sure. Yeah, I think yes. that works. Yes. <laughs> Elvis Stoiko and Kurt Browning are back with us on the morning show. It's great to see you both. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's good to be here. Happy All New right, Year. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Kurt, because, uh, Kurt, uh, last time you were here, you were saying farewell to uh, Stars on Ice. Yeah. You've taken a new role on this year. Tell us more about it. Yes. Well, I, just so you know, my new role, I brought a prop. Yeah. Okay. yeah I, I'm a choreographer. I see. I'm, i got to practice. I'm not good. Um, but, yeah, I was the skater for uh, 34 years on Stars on Ice, um, a staple, I hope. And now I'm the choreographer. I've choreographed twice before for Stars on Ice, and I've done about eight or nine different um professional shows across the globe like in China and around the world so it's not exactly a new role for me but it's kind of a permanent one and I don't know how long I'll be the choreographer but I'm really excited about um, taking the vision that I've always had with my own skating and extrapolating out with this amazing cast of skaters. I mean, we have director's chairs around. I'm sorry we didn't get you one. That's right. To that's go right. along with the scarf. <laughs> what and were Elvis, you has, and uh, Elvis has to call me the, bo the boss. Well, now, right? I know, and, and you told me that in commercial. Elvis, what do you make of this? I know rehearsals start in Halifax in April, and uh, with Kurt directing and having to call him boss all the time, <laughs> are you going to be able to work with this? I think so. Uh, the big boss man, the big boss man, he's in the house. Yeah, no, it's going to be fun. And, and I know that it takes off. We, we chatted a little bit about it, and it's going to take a little bit of the pressure up where he doesn't have to worry about skating because it's, it's hard to wear, wear a bunch of different hats. So he can focus on, um, you know, creating and being with us and, and using that choreographic juices to, 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 to pull the best of us out, which is wonderful. And, uh, I, and it's going to be it's going to be great to, uh, to be a part of that. It's very exciting. It's a it's a changing in a way, but I'm very excited for it, and and uh, it's it's great. We're we're working even. It's it's interesting. We're gonna be working even more together. We've been talking on the phone more, doing more stuff. So I'm really excited to see what we what he comes up with, and then collaborate. Well, as fans, that is very cool to hear. And besides that, Elvis, uh, can you tell us, Kurt, some of the other uh, great talent in this year's show? Um, I think behind us you can see um, Patrick Chan will be back in the cast, and he came back to the show last year, and and he, his skating is. I think that he's matured while he was away from the sport for a few years, and so I'm really excited to get to work with Patrick as well. And of course, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier, our, Can our new, newly crowned Canadian champions, have a chance um, at winning, um, fingers crossed, or at least meddling at the World Championships in Montreal. Um, so right. that would be great if they bring that energy with them. Um, and of course, we have um, uh, Deanna St Stilato Dudak, sorry, a little cough, and um, Maxine Duchamp. They're the pairs champions in Canada, and they also have a chance to medal at the World Championships. So. Uh, star-studded cast still and um, and I I'm, I'm vibrating because like Elvis said I've always choreographed as a cast member and now I'm just the choreographer and, and I'm really excited about that role mm, yeah for sure Elvis I've often wondered about this when when you are part of a show like this and um, the years of competition are over I feel like the that pressure is off. And you just said that people who come back and do this, it's just you're doing it for fun and for the love of the sport. Uh, does that make a difference? It's, it's a huge difference. Um, in, in competitive skating, you're always fighting the aspect of getting the job done and trying to skate free, which is the, the reason why you started to skate is that skating free. When you're doing shows, you can let that all go and you can skate free. And it's for the audience. That it, and and it's, it's skating with the audience, really, because every show is different and it's an experience that you're having. We're having the experience with the audience. It's not just literally going out there skating for you guys and enjoying it, but it's, it's an experience that is, is in, it's amazing. And every show is so different and unique, uh, different energy levels, different uh, crowds. It's just, it's so amazing. And this is something where, you know, Kurt and I have had years of experience and, and that's something where, you know, I'm just blessed to still do it at my age and, and to skate free and really enjoy it instead of worrying about the judges and marks and all that other stuff and making sure you get, you know, your levels on your spins and how many rotations and all that. You can just, you can make a mistake, cover it up, have some fun and take it in with the audience. They enjoy that too. Sure, sure, for sure. All right, the two of you have got such a long and storied history. We wanted to show you both uh, this photo. It was taken exactly 30 years ago this week. It was really? January 15th, 1994. You're both in Edmonton, victorious at the Canadian Figure Skating Championships. Uh, Kurt, what's your reaction to this photo? 
Uh, I think that it, appreciation of how lucky both Elvis and I are to have been a, a part of, of this journey mm. and, and that we're, we're so lucky that we both are still putting skates on and, and, um, and getting out in front of people in different ways. And uh, I think just uh, luck, luck, lucky and, and appreciation. Mm -hmm. And Elvis, for you? Yeah, the same. It, it's amazing. Still being able to skate, um, those moments, I always talk about it, that I wouldn't be the skater I am if it wasn't for Kurt. I think vice versa. We pushed each other. Um, we helped mood skating in a way that we, it wasn't intentional. It just happened. It was something that we, you know, we pushed each other and it, it changed skating in a way and it brought up, you know, the, the Patrick Chans and the Jeff Buttles and all of that, like the Orsers and the Boitanos before us. And, and just to be a part of that that legacy is is pretty special, and and um, always cherish it. And uh, it's just it's awesome. And now still continuing to do it with Kurt, it's, it's pretty amazing. Okay, you guys are talking routines and choreography. Um, I, I have to ask Elvis: Is one of your routines uh, like a race car <laughs> scene, race car driver? Like oh. it might be this year. It might. <laughs> Yeah, we've been talking about some ideas or reverse pitfalling some stuff. I'm literally at the track in Sebring right now. That's why I'm in my race suit. I just came off the first session, came running, hopefully got, you know, Wi-Fi all sorted up, sorted out and stuff. But yeah, we've been playing with some ideas. So we're not sure yet. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but we're, we're playing with some ideas. Okay. All oh, right. okay. He's in race gear. I thought, Elvis, you were starting a new fashion trend. Fire <laughs> retardant. Just wear anything uh -huh. fire retardant. Well, <laughs> spandex, as we say, spandex to Nomex, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for tour dates and tickets to the show, visit starsonice.ca, and then you'll find out all about the routines and what they have planned. I can't wait. Thank you both for joining us. So great to see you. We'll see you there. Thank you. Mm.